Hi. Hey. Welcome to Dependence Planning. Welcome. The podcast. The podcast. And this is your bonus episode today. Bonus. Just a little teeny tiny episode. Because guess what? Today is Friday the 13th. Ah! But it's September, so it's not as unlucky as if it were to fall on in October. Yeah. So count your blessings, people. Mm-hmm. Don't walk under ladders. Don't break a mirror. Watch out for black cats. If you see one crossing your path, fucking kick that motherfucker out of the way. <laughs> don't hurt animals, people. Come yeah, on. jeez. Come on, guys. Yeah. We don't do that. If Just... you see a cat crossing your path, turn around and go the other way. Exactly. Perfect. Find a different path. Yeah. Don't yeah. let that wear in your day. Yeah. No bad luck here. No. What other what other superstitions are out there for Friday the thirteenth? Or just superstitions. Don't uh, want the salt, don't let don't spill, don't spill salt. salt. <gasps> don't open an umbrella indoors. Yeah. Don't do that. Also, why would you open an umbrella un- indoors? I don't know. My kids want to though, apparently, and I always tell them like, Don't do that. You'll have bad luck. Bad luck, yeah. Bad luck on everyone. Yeah. Broken mirrors. Mm-hmm. Seven years of bad luck. Yeah. I broke a mirror. Well, it fell off the wall. And then I think it's the one member I told you is like Kyle picked it up and then he dropped it down the stairs. <laughs> so Kyle doesn't seem to be having bad luck. <laughs> I have bad luck today. The damn passport office was closed. Yeah. Nobody told me this. They just have stupid hours. It's not fair. For real. This week has just been a bust. I think it's been bad luck the whole leading up to tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> leading up to today. Today, yeah. Today. Today's Friday the 13th. Today, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Superstitions. <laughs> The military has superstitions. They do. They do. We've recently learned. Some are really funny. Mm-hmm. Most of them are stupid. <laughs> well, yeah, they have to be, right? Equally entertaining. Oh, completely. Yeah. What you got? Do you have one? I do. Okay. Show me. Share with me. Tell me. I have a superstition why U.S. Marines, uh-huh. when they're deployed, will not eat the charms candy. What are uh, charms candy? It's just a brand of candy oh, okay. that comes in the MREs. Oh. They won't even, like, leave them in the, like, whatever comes in a bag or oh, box, really? whatever. You can't have them at all oh. because it's bad luck. They just toss them or something? Yeah. Get rid of them. They said they'll, if they have them at all, that they'll throw them out the window or bury them, too, they were saying. <laughs> okay, so this is what they say uh, about the charms candy. I got this from wearethemighty.com. Oh. So, in their article, they say, Eating Charms candy is like begging for the world's largest thunderstorm to rain down on you and your platoon. Oh. Even in the desert. Or they might set off a roadside bomb. Some think you'll get mortared just for opening the MRE with charms in it. Unless you oh. bury it. So, they're like, really superstitious on that. Uh, they just, says, just for opening up the MRE itself. Just for opening it up and not the, the candy, candy is in there. But the candy is in there. Okay. Yeah. So they say there's just really bad luck there associated with the fact that something bad will happen. You'll either mm-hmm. get a serious, like, thunderstorm of rain and craziness wherever bad. you are, no matter, even if you're in the desert, mm-hmm. or bad luck that uh, a bomb will be set off. By oh, you. okay. So they know not to eat those. I wonder, I haven't seen an MRE in a very long time, but do, are they, I wonder if they're usually marked with what's inside. I uh, think they are. It's like charms, cookies. No! Yeah. Anyway. Or just, you know, write a letter to your congressman and be like, I don't want these charms in my MRE. I don't know if your congressman can do anything for you, but. Well, they should, right? Somebody should. If that is what they're, yeah. you know, if they're totally against it. <laughs> So don't open them, don't eat them, don't touch them. Don't think about them. Throw them out the window. Contrary to their name, they're not charms. They're not charming at all. They're bad amulets. Yeah, that's what they say. They're they're probably delicious. They are. I don't know what kind of candy they're talking about, but I kept popping up with this charms candy. Candy's candy. I will find it. And eat it. I mean, bring it on. Bring it on. Just kidding. I have a funny one that I um that jogged my memory from when we lived in Guam. But this one I found on military.com. So if you guys want to look that up, it was just on military.com. But it's uh, Neptune doesn't like whistling. So this is specific for sailors too. Um, just when you're out uh, at sea, you're not allowed to whistle because it can enrage Neptune because he doesn't like it. At all. No whistling at all. Yep. Oh, yep. No. There's um 
Yeah, that it'll it'll summon bad weather as it angers the king of the sea. So don't whistle. And this reminded me of a <laughs> of a thing I read um, when we were in Guam. It was there was this this um, village in Guam where you were not allowed to whistle. <laughs> I don't know if it's still there, like it's still in place, but I do remember that. How we weren't allowed to whistle in this village that's probably like a mile away from another village? What if yeah. you whistled and they heard you whistling from a different village? They were probably like, hey, we can whistle in this village, so yeah. come on over. Or they'd be like, I'm going to write a letter to <laughs> rat you out. You're done for. You're done for. That's it. Yeah. Hand in your coconuts. Bad luck is <laughs> all over you now. Yes. Bad juju. For real. Yeah. Silly people. I think that's so funny. I know. It's pretty funny. Entertaining. There's a lot of weird lore around the military mostly yeah very entertaining mostly from like way back and like i was reading some of them there world war one yeah some war that happened in the 1800s Mm -hmm. you know history that i don't know (laughs) (laughs) what war happened in the 1800s no i have no idea it's a civil war no yeah maybe it wasn't in the united states it was probably somewhere else then oh because i was like i don't understand i don't recognize this war at all yeah so, mm-hmm. <laughs> history. Not my strong point. Did you have any other ones that you found? No. No? Oh, come on, Jen. I know. They have the same articles everywhere, and I can't... I found one that said that soldiers in World War One would sew up, uh, like, a black cat. It doesn't say if it's an actual black cat or just, <laughs> or just <laughs> fabric. <laughs> they did what? I said sew black cats onto their uniforms for good luck. Contrary like a, to the traditional bad luck, yeah. Like a... It doesn't say if it's a real cat or just a picture of a cat. Like a patch or is it like a stuffed animal? I don't know. Please God, don't let it be a real cat. I like to think that it was the cat that was crossing its path and yeah. he kicked it. That one soldier kicked it, sewed it onto its coat, but it was still alive. <laughs> it didn't like stitch the actual skin skin of the cat so it was like he sewed it into its pocket or something you know mm. like it's still alive and you feed it you feed it through a hole yeah. that you created mm-hmm. to keep it alive that's but then what it I'm would thinking also in my poop head. and pee in your pocket listen that's we not can't, good we can't help how everything how are you supposed to wash your uniform with a cat in there no you and then you take it out it has special compartments and buttons. Oh, oh, right. Take... I know. Yeah, that's right. All the pockets yes. and buttons. All the pockets. So they were for cats. They weren't for pens. Back they then. weren't for <laughs> pens, people. Get it in your head. Oh, it's my for goodness. the cats. That's funny. Uh, another one was like mistletoe could provide protection for a soldier when pinned inside his or her uniform as well. So, or like uh, bullets etched with the soldier's name. That was considered a lucky amulet as well. Some weird stuff like that. A bit of, of clothing from a pers- um, personal hero, like a national hero, could be worn to provide courage. Oh. I don't know how you would get your hands on a piece of Thor's magical golden hair. <laughs> Where would you get this amazing... Where would you get amazing... have your national hero? Who's your national hero? Fucking Tom Hanks is my wow. national hero. I love him. Right? I want a piece of his I bet clothing or if you wrote him a letter multiple times yeah that he would finally read your letter and see how sweet it is if you asked him very nicely yeah. that you're my hero you're my national hero can you are you, a national treasure can you please give me some piece of yourself yeah Whatever you'd like to send. I'll take a discarded tissue that you so wiped that your tears on. I can <laughs> sew it to my clothing <laughs> Along and with keep the it cat. with me forever. Mr. And Tom I'll Hanks. Be, I'll be... Yeah. I'll have courage. I'll have courage. I'll have protection. Mr. Tom Hanks, do you have a black cat that I can borrow real quick? <laughs> Tom Hanks' is black no. cat you can sew into your pocket. Yeah, so a, the, like a piece of clothing from their loved ones or a piece of hair from their loved ones, too. Oh, that's sweet. I know. Yeah, it's weird. But creepy. also really creepy. Yeah. Another one was a soldier should always eat all the food on his or her plate before battle to ensure he or she survives it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, going to battle with a full belly. Yeah, you don't want, you don't want to be like, shit, I ate that charm. That's all I ate. I'm dying. Yeah. Well, already it's already bad luck because you bad ate luck. The, jam, the charm candy, so. Yeah, don't eat that. You're, you're <laughs> out of luck now. 
Uh, either way, these are hilarious. Some of the ones I found on here. And some of them go from like religious artifacts like, you know, crosses and pictures of saints, Bible verses. There was one where they, it's a, there's a saint, Saint Michael, Archangel. Um, for victory in battle or St. Christopher for a safe journey back home. I think Kyle's mom sent him like a necklace of St. Christopher for Mm -hmm. a safe journey back home. And I'm like, your home or my home? Be more specific. I need to know which home we're going to. Yeah. But he's safe, so. That's good. Maybe. Those are good. I like those superstitions. That reminds me of one. I don't remember which saint it is, but there's a saint that um, is to deal with selling your house quickly oh really yeah there's a saint for everything you're supposed to bury it next to like your for sale sign it just has to be on a certain side and everything yeah and they say as soon as you bury it that you will get somebody to buy the house and it was funny because the house that we bought in wichita the realtor had just done that really she had just buried the saint do you remember what saint it was? I don't remember it now. A real estate saint? Yeah, it is. Literally, it's a saint <laughs> something, something, something. You can buy them at the real estate office. Like a statue? Yes. Are they posed with their arms crossed, <laughs> tilted sideways and smiling? Should be, but no. It's In a like, suit? No, they're oh. all, you know, flowy like an angel. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, but yeah, you bury them. Yeah. One of the sides, specific side. Oh, it has to be a specific has side. To be, yeah, like the east or something like oh. that. And um, then they'll say, yeah, it That's... brings you good luck. I've never heard of that. That's so buyer. crazy. Mm-hmm. Is there a specific saint to help my computer run better? <laughs> I would like to know the saint as well. Yes. That would be a great one to have. Because as I said during my uh, class today, I'm going to put the computer in my car and mm-hmm. push the car off the cliff. Yes. Empty, of course. No one inside. Yeah. Just your car and your computer. Just my car and the computer because they're... Two they, problems solved. Two problems would be <laughs> solved. The stupid car and the computer. Who's bad? Who's rubbing bad luck on us? That's what I want to know. Where is the saint for my car? Did I walk under a ladder without even noticing it? Right. I have a staircase that there's a an uh, area underneath that I go. I have to go underneath that all the time. Does that count? That doesn't count. It's not a ladder. It's no. a staircase. Harry Potter would have a lot of bad luck. He lived under the staircase. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. Just the I didn't break the mirror. The mirror fell off the yeah. wall. Yeah, so that's probably that. why Kyle doesn't have bad luck because it was already broken <sighs> by your ghost. The ghost. Mm-hmm. Of Christmas past this year. <laughs> this past Christmas. <laughs> it knocked on my window. I heard it. I said, go away. It he came back no. the next day. I said, go away. And then whatever. I joked with my sister saying that it was the ghost of my dad coming to yell at me because my gas tank wasn't full. Mm-hmm. And then soon, I sure enough, I fill up my gas tank. Ghost goes away. Yeah. So my dad would always yell at us when we were, when our tank was half full. Notice how I said half full, not half yes. empty? And he'd like throw $20 on my dashboard and be like, go get gas. I'm like, I still have four days worth of gas like, I have a in lot my Mustang. <laughs> of miles left yeah. on this car. I can pull into that gas station with my car shaking mm-hmm. and be like, now I need gas. <laughs> I know exactly how far I can go. Exactly. Before it's too late. Yeah, the light came on. I have three days to shuttle the kids back and forth to school. Exactly. No I'd problem. be fine. Yeah. If I have to wait. I've done it. We've driven like many, let's see, I drove, geez, I was under a quarter of a tank of gas and we drove probably like five hours or so. Really? Continuously. You know, like I drove like two hours or two, just over two hours one day, drove over three hours the next day and I was still fine. <laughs> or how do you guess? That light came on, yeah, but I was fine. I made it back. You had luck on your side. I panicked a little, but yeah. it was okay. Thank God I've never run out of gas, like, ever. I've come very close. Like I said, I've pulled up into the gas station a couple times with my car shaking, like, oh yeah. no, it's going to die in my Mustang because I was a gas guzzler, so. Mm-hmm. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yes, superstitions. I read about a guy that. When he was in transit to go somewhere, like to Iraq or something, from the States, he stopped in Ireland 
for they do that. I know I know Kyle stopped in Ireland too, mm-hmm. like just to switch planes in or like whatever. In transit, yeah. In transit. And he got like a Celtic cross while he was at the gift shop and he just attached it to like his dog tags. Just like and, a regular gift yeah, shop Yeah. So he attached it to his dog tags and he went off to, you know, his um his um duty station wherever he was at. I think it said Iraq. And he said that it, it there was like um IDs going off around him but never in his vehicle and he's like oh the only thing you know I'm the only thing new in my life is this cross and he liked to say that it was because of the cross and then he said he called home one day and found out that his niece was having like neck surgery so he was concerned because it was a serious surgery so mm-hmm. he sent home the amulet to her to keep her safe and he said next thing he knew he woke up in a hospital after having had surgery and he was like had been gone for days like um in a coma or something yeah what yeah so and he's like it's he's like today i still wear that amulet he's like and my dog tags that have blood on them i don't blame him for thinking that way because that is crazy it could be total coincidence but Mm -hmm. to have that Mm -hmm. celtic cross and then you sent it back which is super sweet yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden, and you wake up. Oh, that's crazy. I know. Ooh. Ooh. I like those. Yeah, that one was. I thought that one was pretty cool. I like those. Yeah. That's all the superstitions I came up with mm-hmm. that I thought were kind of funny. There was one about eating apricots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Marines don't like eating apricots, or they shouldn't be. They eating don't like apricots. eating apricots. They don't like eating charms candy. The charms candy. Come yeah. on now. The R word. Word. R word. You can't say the R word because rain. Rain. Yeah, they won't stop until they head back to the barracks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, silly people. It's funny. I never thought that, you know, the military would have such funny superstitions or anything like that, you know. Everybody does. I think mm-hmm. in cult- in all cultures, they have funny superstitions. Mm-hmm. I remember when I was pregnant with my son, there was a solar eclipse. And my mom's like, you have to wear something metal on your belly. And I was like, What? what are you talking about woman and she's like you have to wear something metal on your belly to ward off the evil spirit that this (laughs) solar eclipse is rigging in and i was like mom have you been hitting the sauce (laughs) (laughs) she doesn't drink but i was like what is going on but yeah i had heard that even a friend told me that the same the same day she's like were you wearing like a safety pin or anything i was like i was wearing jeans they have a metal button does that count she's like yeah that should be good and i was like i don't understand i've never heard that i don't know and she says that it affects like um like livestock too like like cows and the babies are born not with some sort of defect what yeah that's what she's i don't know i don't so what are you supposed to do pin a like a safety pin on on your clothes that but on the cows yeah i don't know where do you attach a a safety pin to a cow you can't like you'd have to pierce let let me pierce your udder oh udder piercing use the udder udder ow (laughs) not that one that one hurts (laughs) that's my good udder that's my good one (laughs) I don't know. Yeah, those are some weird ones. And uh, we say if you have a craving when you're pregnant, you have to eat that craving or else your baby will be born with the face of your craving. <laughs> so my daughter would have been born with a cheddar, cheddar ruffles face. <laughs> cheddar ruffles. <laughs> my daughter would have been born with, uh, what was it? Flaming hot Cheetos. Face. Oh, take a moment for that. That sounds amazing. So many. Did you? Mm-hmm. I would take bugles. I told you about this. I would take bugles because they were like the larger ones and I would fill them. My mouth watered just thinking mm-hmm. about it. Fill them with hot sauce, like a shot glass, and I would eat them. And the, like I did this at work and the dental clinic people, my friends from there would look at me and be like, you are disgusting. Be like, mm, this is delicious. Be like, you don't, no, knock it till you try it. Yeah. My son, he would have been... Pretzel and cream cheese face. Oh, yeah, you had said that. Yeah, it's the I need to try weirdest this. craving ever. Yeah. Just a block of cream cheese and you just dip your pretzel sticks in it. Yeah. That's it. My son would have been a bugle head. <laughs> he would have had the face of a bugle. <laughs> <laughs> and a slice of tomato, too, because I crave those. Tomatoes. Which, which I have never, like, I never liked tomatoes in my entire life. I despise them. They tasted like plastic. And I craved them when I was pregnant with him. Weird. And then it went away. And they went back to tasting like plastic. And then when I was pregnant with my daughter, same thing. I craved them so bad. 
and they tasted really sweet when I would have them. Mm -hmm. And then that taste never went away and i can eat a tomato just fine now and kyle thinks like i don't i don't get you i don't understand you and i was like i don't know how to explain it i don't get myself either it's like people that don't like cilantro first of all i need to smack you across the face you are not a real human you're an alien but everybody who says they don't like it is the same description it tastes like soap it doesn't taste like soap. That's everyone's description. That doesn't that like soap. That is true. It's like a biological component in your body that dislikes it with like tomatoes and cilantro. It's the same so thing. So disappointing. Mm-hmm. So disappointing, people. I know. I love that shit. Me too. It's so peppery. Right? Mm. I know. I like it. It's my favorite. I will literally just put it on tacos. Yeah. I will just like take it from the package. Like the good Mexican that you are. I try. <laughs> I try really hard. As you can see, my tan, I've tried. Yes. I am darker than I used to be. Jen's from Arizona, so. Ago. Yeah. Might as well call her Mexican. She's from Arizona. I mean, Arizona. basically. I was really close to the border, so, yeah. you know, I'm just... <laughs> She, basically she don't habla espanol though we're working on it no we're trying though yeah <laughs> I, I that duolingo really does help duolingo yeah it mm-hmm. really does it works well i need to get kyle on that because you know he's so white my kids are learning really well yeah. and so i'll do some of them with them and yeah your daughter picks it up so fast i've noticed when mm-hmm. she hears me speaking to my kids she'll like repeat it with like very little to no accent and i'm like oh Mm-hmm. I can come over. We will chit chat all day long in Spanish. Yeah, my son will do that too. He picks it up really quick, but mm-hmm. it takes him a little bit longer to process. <laughs> queso con queso. Mm-hmm. That was exactly. so cute when he said that. Queso con queso. Queso con queso. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think that's all the superstitions we got that we thought were funny. Yes. Yeah. This was a little bonus episode bonus. because it's Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. And we just want to do something fun and. And, and it's a full moon, (gasps) harvest moon, something like super crazy rare. Grab your pumpkins, people. Grab onto your pumpkins. Grab onto your (laughs) pumpkins. Grab your pumpkin spices. Oh, grab all those spices and those pumpkins and smash them together and make pumpkin spice everything. Pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin spice cereal, pumpkin spice spam, everything. No. (laughs) Pumpkin spice spam? Uh, Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. So, pumpkin spice uh, cereal. What's happening? Now this is, oh, I think it's because we're in different time. That's why. Yeah, we're getting a full harvest moon tomorrow. Oh. Um, I mean today. Mm-hmm. Today. Mm-hmm. So if you're listening to this in this in the evening, look out your window. Mm-hmm. It's going to be beautiful. It's you're, supposed to be huge. You're going to feel all harvesty. You're going to want to harvest uh, your your garden. Yeah. Your organs. That's probably, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Please don't harvest anyone's organs, though. Okay. But don't tell us about it either. I mean, but share with us, too. Yeah. Did you um, harvest an organ? <laughs> no, I didn't. But that's probably why everyone's fucking crazy today. They're out of their fucking minds. People are driving like lunatics today. They are. They're horrible. Yeah. They're not using blinkers. Passing where you're not supposed to pass. Trying when there's to kill people. A car coming. Clearly, you can't clear that overtake and... Oh, no, no, no. I just, I'm, I'm shocked. I know. It's the moon. It's the moon's gravitational pull. Yeah. It fucks everybody's head up. It really does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, well, what are we going to do? It's the moon. We can't shoot it. I know. Mercury's not in retrograde. It's not? No. I, I don't buy that came shit. Out of that. I don't buy that I just still don't understand it. I just like using it as an excuse. <laughs> yeah. I was telling, I was telling one of the participants today during class, I said, uh, I was like, I didn't realize how much of a break my husband gives me until he's gone mm-hmm. because he's never home. So yeah. when he's home, five minutes break is good. But when he's gone, everything happens. Everything breaks down. I have to get like, I have sh- just stuff to do. I forgot to remove the rental car from my insurance. So I had to call them yesterday. I was like, ah, shit, we paid for an entire month of rental <laughs> of our rental insurance. And then um, my passport it's just the website was down, and then today the office was closed. Once I got my whole shit together, uh, the picture people that I went to get my passport picture taken was down yesterday. Mm-hmm. Why, Jen? I know. Yeah. It always seems that way, too. Whenever they're gone, it's fucking superstitions yeah. right there, because it's true. Murphy's Law. Murphy's when Law. When they're gone, everything always, happens. Always, yeah. I had everything. To, I had to drive his truck. 
Yeah. Which I don't like doing because it's so gigantic. Yeah. It's really not that big. It's an American truck, but in on these roads and compared to what I'm used to driving, I was like, I don't want to drive this car. It's massive. The kids like it, though. They're like, ooh, we get to ride in the nice car. I was like, thanks, assholes, for insulting the car that gets you around. Fine. 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 All the space. All the space. To yeah. do activities. Yeah. All right. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done ranting today. <laughs> Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our little bonus episode. Yeah. It was really fun yes. to do. Yeah. Just think of. We thought it was kind of funny. Yeah. It was fun to do. So get at us. If you have any other superstitions that you have yeah. heard of or you know of for anything, doesn't have to be military no. related. No. Email us, dependusbelaining at gmail.com. Find us on our website now, which is on our Facebook page. And you can email or message us on Instagram. Instagram or the Twitter. Mm-hmm. Yep. I always forget that one. That yeah. One too. Oh, the Twitters. Yeah. We don't use our Twitter like some people do, so. No. But it's there. It's there. We control our fingers, though, when we're we do. on Twitter. We don't say whatever's on our mind. We hold back. Mm-hmm. Except for when we're, we have a microphone in our face. We don't hold back then. Mm-mm. I can't express myself through my fingers like i can with my mouth (laughs) just use your mouth i'm using my mouth to express myself (laughs) (laughs) i can't use my fingers (laughs) keep your fingers to yourself (laughs) oh good stuff good stuff well that's all that is tall that be all from us yes i hope you guys have a wonderful friday the 13th yes don't and go too crazy. Don't go too crazy. Enjoy that harvest moon. Don't walk under ladders. Mm-hmm. Don't run over a black cat. Don't break any mirrors. Don't break any mirrors. Don't spill your salt. And don't eat Charms candy from the MREs. Also, yeah. why are you eating MREs if you're at home? Yeah, if you're out in the do field, that. don't eat those. Don't eat the candies. Yeah. All right. That's it. Thank you guys so much for listening. Mm-hmm. Look out for black cats. Yeah. Because hey. wherever they go, there, there you, you are. are. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>